Is there a link between insulin resistance and the growth of thyroid nodules? So to go a little bit back, you know, the statistics look uh, very scary. And part of that is early screening. And I think that's a good thing, right? So instead right. of knowing that your blood sugar is 300 and get diagnosed because you can't drink enough water and you're you're always in the bathroom, that is like pretty advanced late stage. It's like diagnosing cancer at stage four. Right. But diagnosing prediabetes or insulin resistance even help people realize, okay, hey, what's going on? Let me just make some lifestyle changes. So that is part of the reason that the numbers are so high. Oh, same thing with the thyroid ultrasounds, with the ultrasound being more available, screening more of the thyroids, you see more and more. Obviously, not every thyroid and not every cyst is important, but um, that's, that's, that's our job to determine who will need, um, you know, intervention, biopsy, etc., and who will not. But the link between the diabetes and thyroid or any nodule or any neoplasm. Neoplasm includes a, a benign tumor and a malignant tumor, but still it's not normal. So you, you're developing uh, a, a mass, a, a structure that does not belong. So why is this happening? And there is tremendous evidence behind this that insulin resistance, insulin is the biggest growth factor is a big driver of growth of any tissue. I have videos about diabetes having skin tags, you know, as, as a growth on your skin. And diabetics are more likely, two to three times more likely to develop cancer as well compared to non-diabetic population. Again, the same reason, insulin resistance. Even breast cancer, women who are insulin resistant will be more likely to develop breast cancer because of insulin resistance 